The apparitions of the Virgin Mary in Medjugorje have offered comfort and guidance to millions of believers around the world, igniting a flame of hope in the midst of uncertain times. However, the most recent revelation has sparked disquiet and reflection. A stark warning about the events that will unfold by the end of 2024 has brought a sense of urgency that cannot be ignored. This message stands out from the rest, not just for its content, but for the profound details that make us ponder the future we are collectively shaping. However, it is not meant to incite fear or despair. On the contrary, the intention is to warn us and prepare us for the challenges ahead. Have you ever noticed how the world seems to change at an accelerated pace, as if something great is about to happen? According to the Virgin Mary's words, these transformations will culminate in a decisive moment by the end of 2024. The time to act and prepare is running out, and it is essential that each of us is aware of this. In this video, we will delve into the essence of this revelation, unraveling the signs it has given us and understanding how we can protect our faith and maintain serenity in the midst of chaos. This message is more than just a warning. It's an invitation to unite, to strengthen our spirituality, and to face the trials to come with unshakable faith. Follow us to the end of this video to absorb the depth of Mary's message and understand how we can prepare ourselves for what is to come. This is perhaps the most relevant information you will hear this year. The Virgin Mary's recent message in Medjugorje should not be considered just another warning. It is a vehement call to humanity, warning of what awaits us at the end of 2024. She spoke clearly and directly about a period of great trials that we will all face in the coming months. As revealed, the world is about to go through a period of profound and transformative changes. These transformations will not only be social and political, but also spiritual, bringing tremors that will resonate in every aspect of our lives. The urgency of this message stands out among all the previous ones delivered in Medjugorje. The Virgin Mary stressed that the time of preparation is coming to an end and that, in the last months of 2024, we will witness events that will redefine the course of history. Although the revelation mentions a period of darkness, there is also a light of hope for those who keep their faith firm and their hearts open to change. The Virgin Mary gave us a clear and urgent warning. It is essential that we reinforce our faith and strengthen family unity in order to face the challenges that lie ahead. She pointed out that many will be tempted to give in to fear and despair. But those who remain firm in their spiritual convictions and in God will find the inner strength they need to endure these difficult times. This is a decisive moment. His words echo like a call for everyone to turn to God and rediscover the value of prayer and spirituality. According to his messages, the end of 2024 will be a crucial milestone, ushering in a period of deep purification in which humanity will be challenged to reevaluate its own values and choices. The transformations to come will not be superficial. They will touch the very core of our society and affect the way we live and relate to each other. The Virgin Mary revealed that this process will require sincere reflection and a change of attitude because the consequences will be felt both globally and in the depths of each heart. The events mentioned in her revelations include changes that will affect every aspect of human life from the environment, with the intensification of natural disasters, to the social sphere, marked by conflicts and divisions that threaten the peace and stability of many nations. This is not a message to generate panic, but to awaken us to the reality of a world that has moved away from spiritual principles and essential values. The Virgin Mary invites us to see these signs as a final call for change, an opportunity for conversion, and a return to the path of love compassion, and faith. Although the message is severe and full of warnings, it does not exclude hope. On the contrary, it carries a glimmer of hope for those who choose to listen and act with courage. The Virgin Mary reminds us that even in the face of suffering and trials to come, there is a promise of renewal and grace. For those who are willing to prepare themselves and keep the flame of faith alive, this will be a time of revelations and spiritual strengthening. But for this renewal to manifest itself, we must act now. Time is short. The end of 2024 is fast approaching, 
and the months ahead will be crucial for our spiritual and emotional preparation. In this video, we'll delve into the details of this message, analyzing the signs that are already around us and understanding how we can best prepare for what is to come. The Virgin Mary spoke directly and incisively. The end of 2024 will be a real watershed for humanity. She warned that an unprecedented spiritual crisis will engulf the world, bringing a period in which many will lose faith and be swallowed up by despair and confusion. Conflicts and violence will intensify, and division between people will become increasingly evident, separating families, communities, and even entire nations. This bleak scenario, however, also points to the need for a spiritual revival and the opportunity to rebuild our lives on more solid and true foundations. This is a message of urgency and also of hope, reminding us that even in the darkest times, those who persevere in faith and love will find the strength to endure and the hope to begin again. We are about to enter a period in which evil will try to establish itself more intensely in human hearts, leading many to question their very existence and lose the meaning of their lives. However, the Virgin Mary was clear in stating that this will also be a time of choice, a decisive moment in which each person will be called to decide between the path of light and the path of darkness. She stressed that in the midst of all this chaos and confusion, faith will be the indispensable foundation for our survival and spiritual renewal. Mary asked us to urgently turn to prayer, to strengthen family ties, and to seek shelter and spirituality, because it will be in these moments of recollection that we will find the strength to face what is to come. Despite the stern tone of her message, she also brought a promise of hope. Those who remain steadfast in their faith and love for God will find refuge and protection. This period, however turbulent it may seem, will be a call to conversion for many, a spiritual awakening that will open the door to a new life, more in line with divine values and the teachings of Christ. His warning is not only to be prepared materially, but above all to prepare spiritually. What is about to happen will be, in her words, a real battle for the soul of humanity. The message was accompanied by a clear and urgent instruction. The time to act is now. The months leading up to the end of 2024 will be crucial for our preparation. The Virgin Mary was emphatic that we must not be careless during this period. She urged us to seek strength in prayer and the sacraments, to practice charity, and to live fully according to Christ's teachings. She explained that revelation is not just about warning about external events, but inviting us to a deep inner transformation. In order to survive and thrive during this time of trial, we need a spiritual strengthening that starts from the inside out. We need to purify our lives, remove everything that distances us from God, and draw closer to His presence. Only in this way will we be able to face the imminent challenges and find peace amid the whirlwind of events that lie ahead. Looking at recent events in the world, it is hard to ignore the connection between the Virgin Mary's revelations and what we have witnessed. In recent years, the frequency and intensity of natural disasters seems to have increased considerably. Devastating earthquakes, hurricanes of unprecedented strength, and forest fires sweeping across vast areas causing destruction and suffering. It's as if nature itself is in turmoil, reflecting humanity's imbalance and spiritual disconnection. Maria mentioned that these events are clear signs that the earth is responding to the way humanity has turned away from spiritual values and neglected its relationship with the divine. These disasters are not just random accidents, but part of a global purification process. In his words, they are only the beginning. By the end of 2024, we will see a significant increase in these manifestations as a response to humanity's mistaken attitudes and choices. It is therefore essential that each of us understands the gravity of this moment and seeks not only physical safety, but the inner peace that comes from a life centered on God. The earth is crying out for change, and that change begins within each one of us. Although times are challenging, the promise of renewal for those who remain faithful is real. It's time to transform our lives, to choose the path of light, and to prepare ourselves spiritually and emotionally for what lies ahead. In addition to the natural disasters that have devastated the planet, 
The global geopolitical landscape is becoming increasingly unstable and threatening. Regional conflicts and tensions between countries are intensifying at an alarming rate, and the world seems to be on the brink of imminent collapse. Political rivalries and threats of armed confrontation have created an atmosphere of uncertainty and fear, generating a widespread sense that we are on the brink of an unprecedented global crisis. The Virgin Mary's message foresaw this period of growing instability and warned that a time will come when nations will rise up against nations, and peace will be replaced by chaos that will spread across all continents. According to her, this panorama is a direct reflection of humanity's departure from the divine principles of peace, fraternity, and love of neighbor. We are approaching a critical moment, a period of great spiritual and moral trial, where darkness seems to want to establish itself in human hearts. In the spiritual field, we can also see signs that confirm what the Virgin Mary predicted. There is a growing crisis of faith, where many people turn away from religious traditions and stop searching for a greater meaning in life. In its place, we see the rise of a culture centered on materialism and selfishness, where the desire for power and wealth overrides the values of compassion, charity, and humility. The virtues that were once pillars of our society seem to be increasingly forgotten and neglected. She warned us that this distancing from faith is one of the factors that pave the way for the coming darkness. Evil feeds on disbelief, hopelessness, and spiritual emptiness, leading people to despair and conflict. We can see this clearly all around us. Society is increasingly fragmented, divisions are growing, and the lack of purpose and direction creates a sense of emptiness that is difficult to fill. These events and signs cannot be ignored, as they are a call to action and deep reflection. The Virgin Mary's warnings about the end of 2024 should not be seen as isolated predictions, but rather as the culmination of signs that have been manifesting over time and have now become impossible to ignore. She warned us that these difficult times are the result of the choices and paths that humanity has decided to follow, but she also gave us a message of hope. There is still an opportunity to change this fate if we are willing to recognize the signs and act with faith and determination. This is the time to awaken our hearts and minds. We need to open our eyes to the reality that is unfolding before us and turn our attention to what is truly essential. Spiritual preparation is more than a recommendation. It is an urgent necessity. In the face of the Virgin Mary's revelation and the signs that are intensifying, prayer becomes our main defense against the forces of evil and the despair that threatens to overwhelm hearts. The Virgin Mary emphasized prayer as our most powerful weapon. She asked us to intensify our supplications and especially to pray the rosary with fervor and devotion. The rosary is more than a prayer. It is a spiritual shield, a bridge that connects us directly to the divine and allows God's light to penetrate our lives and enlighten us in times of darkness. By dedicating ourselves to prayer, we are not only seeking protection, but also opening ourselves up to peace, discernment, and the inner strength needed to face the challenges ahead. In addition to prayer, the Virgin Mary highlighted the crucial importance of family unity. She reminded us that the family is one of the strongest pillars in times of crisis and trial. It is within the family environment that we find support, comfort, and courage to face difficulties. This is therefore the time to strengthen family ties, promote mutual understanding, cultivate forgiveness, and live love in its purest and most sincere form. Harmony within the home must be a priority, as it will be the refuge and foundation where we will find stability when the world around us seems to be falling apart. It's time to invest time and effort in building a true unity, where dialogue, respect, and patience are the foundations that sustain coexistence. If we can strengthen our family ties and keep our faith in God alive, we'll be ready to face the challenges ahead with renewed hope and strength. Bring your family together in moments of prayer and dialogue, creating an environment where mutual support and faith are always present. The Virgin Mary warned us that evil will try in every way to divide and weaken family ties. 
She warned that this division is one of the most powerful strategies of evil forces, because when the family is disunited, its ability to withstand adversity is drastically reduced. However, by remaining united and in solidarity, we can build a true fortress of love and resilience, which will be a spiritual shield capable of withstanding the tribulations that lie ahead. A family that prays together, that dialogues and shares its difficulties, becomes a light in the midst of darkness, a safe refuge against the trials that arise. Another essential guideline given to us is the search for personal conversion. The Virgin Mary calls us to look deeply within ourselves and reevaluate the path we are following. This call is not only to recognize our faults, but also to correct our course and transform our lives. It invites us to abandon those habits that distance us from God, to overcome resentments we carry, and to free ourselves from attitudes that contaminate our soul. This is not just a superficial change, but a real inner transformation, where each of us must seek to live according to the spiritual values that bring us closer to Christ's teachings. Practicing charity, compassion, and humility are not just isolated actions, but means of aligning our lives with the divine purpose. By incorporating these values into our daily actions, we prepare ourselves spiritually for the difficult times ahead. The Virgin Mary invites us to live with a high purpose, to be a beacon of hope in the midst of darkness, and to demonstrate God's love through every gesture we make, however small it may seem. This inner preparation is as crucial as any external measure of protection, because it strengthens us and enables us to face trials with serenity and unshakable faith. Finally, despite having revealed a future marked by challenges and purification, the Virgin Mary's message does not fail to offer us a promise of hope. She assures us that those who remain firm in their faith will find not only the strength they need to get through these difficult times, but also the divine grace that will sustain them in the midst of tribulations. It is a call to courage, perseverance, and above all, unwavering trust in God's plan. The Virgin Mary asks us not to fear what lies ahead, but to prepare ourselves with the certainty that the Lord is with us every step of the way, guiding and protecting us. The end of 2024 may bring a period of intense purification, but it is also an opportunity for spiritual rebirth. This time will be a call to humanity to reconnect with what is eternal and true, leaving behind the illusions and deceptions that have led us away from God. By following the Virgin Mary's guidance, we will not only be protecting ourselves from imminent evil, but also helping to transform the world into a place fuller of light, peace, and hope. It's a chance for a fresh start, for renewal, and to become an instrument of God's will, radiating God's love, and contributing to building a brighter, more spiritual future. May we welcome this call and strive to be a positive force, even in the most challenging times. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.